Of all of the different collectibles that I've ever even dabbled in, it seems like stamps are the ones that have lost its value more than anything else. Uh, you'll go onto eBay and you'll see thousands and thousands of stamps for just, you know, pennies on the dollar. And I came across this auction here, 100 different used U.S. stamps, $1.20. And uh, even further down in the description here, I purchased this already, down here in the description, talks about how... Um, half of these are going to be commemorative stamps so I don't really collect stamps um, I've bought a few of them before but a hundred stamps it's going to cost him 50 cents just to mail this to me so he's making 70 cents and after eBay fees he's making like 50 cents off of this thing so it came in let's take a look one thing I like about buying things from stamp dealers is they put real vintage stamps on uh, their uh, the envelopes they send me. So uh, there's a 32, an 18, and a 5. What does that add up to? 55 cents. So even the envelope it comes in uh, has uh, interesting stamps on it. I could easily collect those if I wanted to. Inside there, here is... Uh, his little envelope. I've already opened it up, but I haven't uh, seen what's in it yet. Nothing on the back here. Let's take a look at what we've got. Einstein. Here we have Alexander Hamilton Bicentennial. For uh, 40 cents. That looks pretty old to be a 40 cent stamp. Uh, John Marshall. Robinson Jeffers, American poet. Oh, let's get that in the frame here. South Carolina. Must be the same set. Idaho. U.S. Bicentennial. Herkimer at Orlansky. 1777. There is a September 11th uh, U.S. Heroes. There. Let's should move the camera a little bit so we can get a better look at that here. That one's not too old. Oregon Territory. Here's a President Washington. One cent. Fiftieth anniversary of the solo transatlantic flight, thirteen cent. Must be airmail. There it is Henry Tanner. Another September eleventh memorial. Christmas in nineteen seventy five. The three cent. Will Rogers, never met a man I didn't like. A four cent U.S. flag. Finland independence. So from 1967. Willa Cather, American novelist. I wouldn't know the name except when I was in college and in a literature class. I had to write a report on Willa Cather. I don't remember anything about her, but <laughs> I remember writing that report. Register to vote. That one done. I was about to say that one didn't even look canceled, but a little bit of um, mark down the left hand side here. Another George Washington five cent. Interfill the International Philatelic Exhibition in Pennsylvania. 13 cent. So stamp collectors. One cent. President Harding. One and a half cents. You couldn't imagine a one and a half cent stamp today, could you? All right, there is FDR at uh, the Southern White House. 
there in Georgia. Next, we have a lighthouse of Marble Hen off of Lake Erie, 32 cent. Next up, film star Cary Grant. Rural America. I guess that is uh, cattle. Here's one I actually remember. Hank Williams. 29 cent. I guess that was from the, the 80s, I guess. There is a Ben Franklin half cent stamp. <coughs> Some kind of bird. Porgy and Bess. United States Military Academy. Another state. Greetings from Pennsylvania. John Adams. And I dropped the next one. Let me go get it here. Peace unites a nation like harmony in music and 8.4 cent stamps. Bulk rate. There is a two cent Washington. Eight cent Statue of Liberty. That one doesn't look used. Tulip. The Atlantic Cable Centenary, 1958. 200 years of the Postal Service. President Martin Van Buren, 8 cents. 1890 Stagecoach. White House, pretty simple design there. There is a 15 cent Statue of Liberty. There's a 37 cent teddy bear. There's another Ben Franklin, not used to seeing a profile of him from the side. There is the seamstress. Bicentennial of the Boston Tea Party. The U.S. Capitol, right of people to peaceably assemble, nine cent. George Mason. The Handsome Cab, 1890s, bulk rate, so it's a 10.9 cent stamp. One of those again, seamstress. Langston Hughes, Black Heritage. The Red Bat. Prairie Crab Apple. There we have uh, JFK. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world, 1963. At least 63 is when he was uh, assassinated, so I don't know when that stamp was made. Here we have the Washington Monument. Oh, and uh, celebrating the uh, Japanese cherry blossoms that are there in Washington. That one looks really old, but it's dated 1956. It says the 200th anniversary of Nassau Hall in 1956. Next up. President Teddy Roosevelt, a six cent stamp. United Nations, 1995. Irving Berlin, dated 2002. What's up, Doc? Bugs Bunny. That one says the NRA, but I don't think that's the NRA that I'm familiar with, so I don't know what that is. But it does look like uh, in common betterment of nation. Hmm. There is Andrew Mellon. 
Here we have a uh, seven cent airmail. Okay, here we have Lincoln. That government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. A three cent Lincoln stamp. People's right to petition for redress. Ten cent. There we have a uh, pump concede snapfish. That one must be fairly recent. Robert E. Lee, 30 cent. It's a fairly old 50 cent stamp of Susan B. Anthony. Freedom to speak out a root of democracy, two cents. Another flower, don't particularly recognize what that one is. Another airmail, we'll put it down there with the other one. Here we've got the uh, Liberty Bell, 13 cents, proclaim liberty throughout the land. Nineteen eighty eight Olympics. Four cent. Uh, I don't know what that is. I guess it's a stamp, but I'm not used to seeing them with the little tiny holes punched in like that. So we've got President Harding. Colorado, the Centennial State. There we have Christmas. And the, the ability to write is a root of democracy. This is a 1975 Merry Christmas. Arbor Day. That stamp looks pretty old. I didn't know Arbor Day goes back that far. Here we have a, a six cents FDR. Fifteen cent Oliver Wendell Holmes, the uh, author. Here we have a uh, four cent Lincoln. William Ellen White, I am not familiar with that name. Blueberries. Another uh, three cent Washington. Uh, the next one stuck in the bag here, stuck in the envelope. We have another lighthouse, 30 mile point at Lake Ontario. Is that in Canada? There it is, Lake Ontario, border of the United States somewhere. <clears throat> Next up, one cent. Who do we have there? Washington and Green at Mount Vernon. I wonder if that's Nathaniel Green. I can't think of who else that would be. The Peace Bridge. So that stamp is, that must be the uh, 50 year anniversary, 1977. I wonder if that's uh, one of those bridges that crosses the Potomac in Washington, D.C. Not too sure what that one is. Here we have uh, President William Henry Harrison and the Indiana Sesquicentennial. So that is a 150-year celebration of the state of Indiana. And I believe that is the, the first capital. Uh, that is in the town of Corden. Uh, I went to Corden a couple of years ago. Uh, Corden is in Harrison County, named after William Henry Harrison, who was one of the first residents over there. So that's pretty neat. To me, anyway. <clears throat> World Peace Through Law. Four cent 
four cents. Give me liberty or give me death. That looks like a more fruit. We have raspberries. The uh, automobile collectors. We have 12 cent Henry Ford. Another airmail with the capital and an airplane. Mm, six cent, just a bell. This is a cancel in Milford, Connecticut. The 1890s oil wagon. There's a love stamp with a flower. Not too many left here. There's a six cent airmail. There's a another Susan B. Anthony right there, three cent. Philadelphia, PA. Marching in step to the music of the nation, of the Union. So, Monticello, the home of Jefferson. Another one of those. We've got Beat the Drum for Liberty and the Spirit of 76. So now I know what year that one came out, 76. That one says, Century of Progress, Chicago. So, uh, 1933, Federal Building. Hmm. And that's uh, fairly old. Here's our last stamp. Drafting the Articles of Confederation, Yorktown, Pennsylvania, 1777. Thought uh, Yorktown was in Virginia. So... Well, that one's uh, interesting as well. So there you have it. That is 100 stamps. I paid barely over a dollar for this. And, um, you know, I could throw all these away right now and just had fun looking through them one time. I mean, who knows? I maybe we'll, we'll never look at these ever again. So, but it, you know, stamps, really cheap to get into, really fun to look at. Half of these are were commemorative stamps. Never seen any of these before. Uh, I'm going to leave this guy positive feedback. This is definitely a fun little auction. And thanks for watching.